Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts, and I'm coming by today to um, paint this piece, or paint part of it. I'm going to use just some acrylic paint. This is Deco Art Bronze, and this is Deco Art Rich Espresso. To me, the Rich Espresso is much more of a bronze color than the bronze color is. The bronze color is way too copper for me. But, I'm going to do the face in the bronze to match the pocket watch part that I already did. And then I'm going to do the hair in the bronze color. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to confuse you. Then I'm going to do the antiquing of the face <clears throat> with the same gray that I did on the pocket watch. This is just an apple barrel um, pewter gray that I've had for a while. And then possibly on the, on the hair the bronze color of the hair. I'm just going to call it copper color. I'm going to put a little patina of some sea aqua in Americana and some teal green. I'm just going to water these down and do a little uh, wash of color on. So I'm going to start with the Rich Espresso <laughs> by Deco Arts. And I probably should have shook them up first. Alright. So you can see it's a really pretty bronzy color. And I've just got a small sort of detail brush. It's a little wonky. I'm not sure what happened. But it will work. Now on this... Um, application. I'm not going to water it down or anything. I'm just going to use it straight out of the lid. Now I'm doing the face first so it's not really that imperative that you not get it out of line. <laughs> get out of line. Although, I'm actually pretty good at that, but... Alright. Just a quick coat of the Rich Espresso on the face. Alright, now I'll leave that to dry before I go any further. All right, I've just got a little bit of this pewter gray that I'm adding some water to. I'm so sorry. All right, I think I've got it watered down enough. And of course, I really just hit the face with my heat gun. Sorry. Now, you can paint the gray over the whole face and then dab it back off or just add it to some areas. cloth, a paper towel, alright, I actually like that, alright,
All right. Now, my first choice was for the Emperor's Gold because I wanted to kind of stay true to the color that's already there. But as you can see, the bronze is a lot oranger. <laughs> if that's even a word. It's a lot more orange than the Emperor's Gold. So, that is what I'm going to have. One of the things with acrylic paint, and especially the metallics, is you really need to go overboard in shaking them. You really want it, you really want it stirred back up. The metallics especially can separate. Again, a really pretty color. And I'm just going to paint the hair. Trying to miss the gears when I can. I've actually decided not to paint the gears. I may actually paint the bottom one because I really didn't care for the silver, but it was the only um, the only one I had that had the ring at the bottom. So that's why I used it. But I may add some alcohol ink or something to that. All right, so I'll finish this up and I'll be right back. Alright, this is the teal green that I've also added a little water to. And I'm going to try to get the underlying layers with just a little bit of this color. Again with the paper towel. Now if you ever get frustrated that you can't get the color back off, um, just use a baby wipe or a damp paper towel and you can get a lot more of the color back off. I've got a little squirt bottle of water here. That's a little better. I think with the lighter color, I'm going to water it down just a bit more.
Alright. Again, I'm just gonna try to get in the recesses a bit. And a question about the paint. I always use just craft paints. I don't I don't even bother with artist paints because the craft paints work so well on the polymer clay. Well, on the Primo polymer clay. I can't speak to other brands. she is. I'm so sorry I keep bumping the camera. I'm going to add just a bit of that blue to the face. Just to kind of bring it all together. Yeah. And just know, just about anything you mess up with acrylic paint, you can go back and fix it. Just add a little more of the base color. can always go back and touch it up with a little water to thin it back down. She is. Really pretty and all finished except for the except for the gear. I did uh, go over it with a little sandpaper to rub up to rough up the surface. So let's just see what a little bit of the acrylic paint will do. I know it won't stick there permanently, but I'll go back over it with a little alcohol ink and then it should be right as rain. All right. Well, there she is. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye now.